there's a lack of impetus, there's a lack of appetite for risk assets at the moment. People are looking for the next catalyst, but people are also very concerned that some of the old pressure points, trigger points, are re-emerging. I think that's right. I think the news, perhaps in the last four or five days, has been the Brexit referendums, and that's clearly dominating the way that markets are th um, investors are thinking about the markets right now. But if you look, about, uh, look at this bigger story, I was flicking through our global forecast before we came on air, there's really, it's really very hard to put your finger on the part of the world economy that you'd really feel upbeat about right now. So in yeah. the US, obviously, jobs market data is nothing like as good as, um, as we'd hoped it would be. Everyone's thinking the Fed aren't, isn't going to raise anymore. And while the Fed staying pat in some ways is good for the markets, it's a pointer that the economy is nowhere near as strong as people had hoped. You look to Europe, clearly very poor. China, I mean, people are becoming now seriously nervous about things that have been going on for some time. But I think, as you mentioned, the IMF now talking much more aggressively about corporate debt and this sense that the Chinese economy is just not heading in the direction that the government would really like. So it's quite difficult when you look at the world at the moment to put your finger on the place where you should be optimistic. We have got to move on. Are we being, are we all way too pessimistic? I mean, there's a lot of good things going on in the world as well, isn't there? I mean, or, or not? I mean, like, for instance, German economy is 95% you know, employed, uh, US economy 95% employed, uh, wages are picking yep. up just a little bit here and there, Europe doesn't seem to be a crisis on a daily basis anymore. There are things that are better than they were a few years ago, aren't well, there? That's or definitely aren't? true. Some of the, you know, the existential crisis, you know, Europe, European Union about to fall apart because of a financial crisis, Grexit, of course, that's disappeared, been replaced by Brexit instead, which is perhaps in many ways even more serious. Um, but yeah, you can say there are some, there are some more positive signs that you know, we're, we're, we're further away from the great financial recession, um, with unemployment levels are rising. But nonetheless, growth is nowhere near the pace, I think, that financial market participants had hoped it would get back to at this time in the recovery, and nowhere near the pace that we saw pre the downturn. And I think that people are realising now that that's likely to stick.